My name is Olakunle Ogunbamela. I am the team lead at Kulia Games. And when did the company start? Kulia Games started <coughs> as an idea in May uh, 2012. Uh, and between May and October, we kept developing casual games for browsers. Uh, and we launched our first site, Kulia.com, uh, in October with 30 casual, day, casual games for, for browsers. And why did you start with games on browsers rather than on mobile phones? Yeah, um, so there is, a, there is a, you know, we know Africa is mobile first. Uh, but what they don't tell you is that the mobile phones in Africa are dumb phones. To get a good experience out of a game, you have to use a moderately powerful phone, uh, a smartphone. And there's as, not enough of them. As at then, it was too little. Yeah. So uh, we decided to go with browser-based games because that is the one, you know, you can still get the experience and you can still reach more people. Uh, and that's what we did. Apart from that, it also allowed us to develop our skills as developers so that we can deliver a lot more engaging titles. What are your three most popular games? Uh, the first one is um, Ole. Ole the Thief, a game about a thief running through the streets of Lagos. Um, it's easily relatable, um, it's fun to play, it's a bit of a comedy and people just understand it. So uh, people play a lot of that, even till now. Um, another one is bush meets, which is a hunter in the bush uh, killing wild animals who are possessed. And um, people like that game because it's also fun to play. Most of our games always have some level of humor in it, so yeah. people just enjoy it. Um, the third one is a game that actually went really viral. Um, it was a Oga the Top game we developed it in March 2013 uh, about an incident that occurred uh, in Nigeria that became a meme. Uh, so we developed a game around it in 24 hours. And in this like is the gentleman who's on television who couldn't remember his own <laughs> website. Exactly. And um, we just developed the game for fun uh, yeah. because it was really popular then. Uh, and funny enough, we got like a hundred thousand, you know, plays on the game in yeah. the first month. Uh, it became so popular that uh, Nokia reached out and said we should develop, you know, a version for 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 mobile for them. That's how popular the game got. So it's going out now on um, Lumia and Asher phones. Yeah, I mean, w as far back as October, uh, you know, 20, 2013, it was available on the Asher phone and the Lumia, uh, Windows Lumia devices. And so how many downloads have there been on the mobile phones? Well, for, for that game in particular, sadly not as much as the browser-based one. Um, so far we got maybe close to 40,000 downloads uh, for that game. Um, they didn't do as well as, as desktop, as the browser-based version of the game. However, um, in since then, we've been developing a lot of mobile games, and in, in January, we started pushing out our mobile titles uh, for on Android, on Windows Phone, and hopefully on iOS by, uh, by the end of this week. Um, and so far, between January and now, we've have had close to a million downloads across the games. So we have games getting as high as you know, 300,000 downloads. Um, that, is our, that is our keke, keke game. You know. and as things stand at the moment, it's quite difficult to collect money, isn't it, on these games? Yes, sadly, you know, payment is still a big hindrance to, to monetizing these games. Um, it's just not there yet. It's getting better, but it's not where we want it to be yet. The percentage of people using, you know, mobile money, cards, is still very low when compared yeah. to the population. And if you go through the mobile operators, they take a big chance. I mean, you're basically working for them. It yeah. doesn't make any sense when you compare it with the numbers. As, yeah. Assuming we, you know, everybody, you know, you know, the numbers are bigger, maybe it will make more sense if you use them. But right now, the numbers don't make any sense. So we're not doing that. And so in the meantime, you're doing games for brands? Yes, uh, that is how we've been able to keep afloat so far. Um, developing games for brands, we work with a couple of brands, like Nokia. Yeah. Uh, we've worked with, done some stuff for GT Bank, you know, and there are a couple of other brands that we're doing games for right now. And that has been able to keep us you know, afloat. And in the meantime, you've struck a distribution deal in India. Tell us about that. Yes, so um, apart from focusing just on, on Africa, we realize that our games are popular even in Asian countries. Uh, so we've struck a deal with HandyGo in India to distribute some of our games, uh, which they'll be selling uh, to telecom customers in India. Uh, we also struck a deal with Litang in, 
in China recently. Yeah. Uh, we are in talk with Huawei, Indonesia, and Huawei Nigeria you know, to distribute some of our games. Uh, we are also have a running, you know, um, partnership with Techno, uh, you know, to distribute our yeah. game in the, the Chinese handset. Exactly in China and I even in Africa. So those type of distribution will put our games in the hands of people more, and we get more popularity in Asia and hopefully generate more revenue.